we connect those in pain with pain providers across the nation. Today the topic is, what is the difference between a facet injection and an epidural injection? Well, to people who have been through the rounds with pain management, that might be an easy question to answer. But for most people, it really is difficult to understand without knowing the basics of where these injections go. So let's talk about facet injections first. This is a model of the spine, and basically you have every level coming down. And this is from the back. You can feel these bony protuberances called the spinous processes. This is looking from the front. You can see these disc spaces, okay, and these are the bony vertebrae. Well, the facet joints are in the back of the spine, and there's one at every level on the right and the left, okay? They're small. They're about the size of a thumbnail, but they have cartilage just like the hip, the knee, the ankle, and they are prone to uh, have arthritis just like those other joints. Okay, so as we age, get into our 40s, 50s, 60s, then that can become a problem. And the problem manifests itself with back pain or pain that radiates into maybe the buttock area. It might go onto the outside of one, one side of the back, left or right. It also might go down into the thigh area and ache somewhat, okay? But it's not a pain that shoots down one or both legs like that from a disc herniation. Okay, so when people have it in one joint, they usually have it in multiple. All right, so a facet injection, it's also called a facet block, is one of the most popular pain management procedures out of all of them in, uh, used in this country. Okay, and here's what a pain management doctor will do. They look at, you know, the x-rays, the MRI, um, to see where the arthritis is, and then on an exam, you can palpate um, and get a good idea of what levels need treatment. So, as an outpatient procedure, using a real-time x-ray machine called fluoroscopy, the pain doctor will come down with the needle and put steroid in and usually around these joints that are the symptomatic ones. Okay? That's called a facet injection. When you put medication around it, that's called a medial branch block. But that is predominantly a back pain procedure it's done as an outpatient. Each level takes around 10 minutes, all right? And it works really well, okay? Like a medial branch block, for instance, can give pain relief for three months on average, all right? It also serves a second purpose, which is just simply to diagnose, all right, I just did an injection at the you know, L4, L5 level. Is that giving pain relief? If the answer is yes, okay, that's the level that the arthritis is causing pain from. So it diagnoses it, and then it also acts therapeutically. Okay, so that's what a facet block is for. You can repeat those every few months. If it works and then wears off, a pain management doctor can actually do a heat type procedure with thermal energy called a radio frequency ablation. And that's an amazing procedure because it can provide six to 18 months of pain relief. All right, let's switch gears and look at what is an epidural injection. Well, the main thing that we're talking about here is sciatica. So when you have pain that shoots down one of your legs, it's like a searing, burning type of pain. Um, that's oftentimes from a piece of disc, and here it's in red, that has extruded from where it's supposed to be and pinching a nerve root. These nerve roots are shown in yellow on this uh, model, okay? So you have it pinching it here, sparking up inflammation and causing pain to shoot down the leg. In this case, this is um, the L4, L5 level, all right? So you may have pain down the outside of the thigh, maybe on the front of the calf or top of the foot, or maybe on the outside of the foot. People don't always walk right out of a textbook, all right? But what pain doctors do is they'll put an injection around where the nerve root is getting pinched and maybe inside this area as well. There's different areas to put an epidural injection, and that is great for relieving that pain. They can be usually done in a series, maybe one every two weeks for six weeks, so a series of three, and that can be repeated every few months. So that's the difference, is they're done for different symptoms and they're done in different areas of the spine. Now here's the similarities. 
The first similarity is that they both use steroid medication and numbing medicine, okay? The second similarity is they both can be repeated every few months. Third is they're both an outpatient. And the biggest similarity is that they don't fix any problem, all right? They are not meant to fix sciatica or fix um, arthritis. They simply abate the symptoms for a period of time. And hopefully, for instance, this piece of disc will be disintegrated by the time the steroid wears off. The body knows it's not supposed to be there, okay? There you have the difference between the facet and epidural injections. I'm Dr. David Green with the U.S. Pain Network. Your pain stops.